Okay. Coming up next, uh, we have David Sitzek about the NIH data commons. All right, well, I was going to provide a five minute overview of the NIH data commons, but Ravi kind of nailed it with the album cover, so we could just put that back up for five minutes and stare at it and we'll be good. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm going to provide, uh, I almost titled this Notes from the Field uh, from the NIH Data Commons uh, as I'm representing uh, one specific group uh, within the Data Commons, but I'm going to give you an overview of, um, of all the different goings on at this stage, uh, very early stage of this particular uh, project. Uh, so my name is Dave Sietek. I work in the uh, Data Sciences Platform and Software Engineering at the Broad Institute, uh, and I'm part of Team Calcium. And I'll explain more about what that means in a second. Um, but really, Team Calcium is a, a very close collaboration between uh, the University of California, Santa Cruz, and the University of Chicago and Broad, um, with contributions from uh, Vanderbilt University Medical Center, uh, Verily, and, and uh, some other teams as well, um, in building uh, one piece of the commons. So uh, the data commons is many things simultaneously, and that's a, a pretty major theme here. Um, you'll see at the very bottom, it's kind of everything. Uh, we're, we're doing a little bit of advancement on all these fronts. Um, but primarily, it's, a, it's an effort to uh, address the dramatic increase in, in data that needs to be made available in uh, accordance with fair principles um, in a way that can be uh, set alongside uh, the tools and resources uh, for people to do analysis in whatever environment is appropriate. And we uh, certainly believe that cloud is a, a large part of, uh, of that. Um, but there are lots of options for uh, where analysis and uh, investigation might be done. Um, it's also a new way of funding for NIH uh, this kind of work, and the, the funding mechanism that uh, we're all uh, using really enables a, a, an unusual amount, I would say historically unusual amount of collaboration among groups and flexibility uh, as we kind of embark on this journey together. Um, so it's not only funding, but participating in the, the research in a very interactive way. Uh, I'm sorry, in the project uh, in, a, in a very interactive way. Uh, and so we have a consortium, which I'll show you on the next slide, that uh, involves many players, and we're working together um, in uh, a pretty great way, I think, so far. Uh, it's a demonstration of the benefits uh, and the outputs of collaboration. So this, uh, this uh, somewhat uncharacteristic collaboration is uh, an experiment, and uh, we're, we're demonstrating both the technical outputs as well as um, the, the kind of interpersonal uh, outputs of, of this sort of uh, collaboration. Uh, and then a test of a framework that can now allow uh, innovation around kind of these core conceptual principles and uh, software architecture and infrastructure uh, to bring these things to the table. But as I said, it's the sum of all these. So we're thinking about data and the tools and building infrastructure, interoperability, policy, community. Uh, and I also forgot one, which is the business model, is the way that, that uh, uh, NIH has been talking about it to say, how do we even, how do people pay for the work they're going to do in this platform? So there's innovation on all these fronts. The Data Commons Pilot Phase Consortium. So you'll see uh, this is the Collaboration Fest on Friday and Saturday. There'll be um, discussion of the DCPPC. And what that means is really uh, the group of everyone who's involved in uh, creating this, uh, the infrastructure and, and just being part of the conversations in the early stages here. Uh, there are several uh, categories of individuals. One is that NIH has um, quite a few individuals who are very deeply engaged in uh, participating in the consortium. Uh, there is a series of awardees. There are 10 funded groups, each of which, uh, as far as I'm, I'm able to see, have uh, three to four groups that have come together. So we're looking at 30 to 40 uh, investigators that are representing very different points of view, um, coming together to figure out ways to interoperate uh, and, and demonstrate uh, distinct value. Um, and you'll see that these, these columns in this uh, matrix here are uh, nine, they're calling key capabilities. So these are uh, efforts to uh, think about things that aren't quite standards, but just best practices and aligned interests and approaches we can take to uh, demonstrate these, um, these, these benefits moving forward. And there are different facets here, uh, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, there are three pilot data sets. So over on the right, there are the data stewards, uh, the Alliance of Genome Resources, so model organism databases, uh, the TopMed data set, and um, the GTEx data set. And those are uh, really what we're using to pilot uh, the, the system over the first six-month period, and we have very deep uh, participation from the, uh, the experts there on both the data formats and the science, as well as industry partners. So the general approach is that right now we're in the middle of a six-month pilot phase, which is what the pilot phase consortium is about. Um, and as I said, it's innovation and interpersonal uh, interactions as well as working software, and we're going to demonstrate working software at the end of this phase. Um, we started in April, so it ends in October. Uh, the, uh, we're then planning for what future programs might look like, and this uh, will likely include broader kind of beta participation uh, for the community, so stay tuned for what that ends up being. 
Uh, we're arriving at a common understanding around some of these foundational principles. So technical solutions, authentication, authorization, interoperability. Um, and when there are standards available, we're choosing those and we're choosing to support those and really lean into standards. Uh, user scenarios, coming to some alignment on scientific outcome, uh, user interaction and system capabilities. Uh, fairness, how can we measure that? Uh, and then thinking about things around data use and researcher ethics, um, and community governance, coordination, and uh, engagement. So what are we working on now? These bullets over here on the right are some of the key technical discussions we're having across the consortium. I mentioned the 10 funded groups. Um, we all have these names of elements that, uh, that, uh, that we've been given, and these are the identities that we have. So carbon, copper, oxygen, nitrogen, sodium, phosphorus, and yttrium are all working on kind of the project governance and these key capabilities. Um, the data stewards are there to, to, to talk about the data and really help us understand and learn about the data. Um, and then helium, argon, xenon, and calcium are, we're calling them full stacks, which are groups that have a full stack of technical capabilities now we can use to pilot. And Brian O'Connor this morning in the HCA um, mentioned the data biosphere, which is what calcium has as our, um, uh, as our repository and where our, all our components are. So uh, before the hook comes out here, I wanted to make a pitch at the Collaboration Fest. Um, these are some opportunities here for how to be uh, involved or learn more. Um, so there are some talks. Uh, if you see someone that has team element on their badge, you can ask them, oh, tell me about your, your team, uh, as well as participate in the hackathon. Uh, and then there are some links here for some uh, videos and resources that will be updated uh, in the future with uh, terminology and um, developments that we have as we move forward. All right. So thank you.